to find the vitamins I'm going to be taking today. I've been slacking on my vitamins actually. I've been uh kind of like no, actually, I haven't took these in a long time, other than yesterday, but before that, I haven't took vitamins in a really long time. So, I'm about to show y'all what I'm going to be taking. Okay, I think that's a good one. I believe so. Okay, so, taking ashwagandha, of course. Um, a multivitamin by GNC, um, some calcium and magnesium, um, some black cherry for recovery, and um, recently I picked up, well not, yeah it's not recent, it's like a year ago, but this Neuro Optimizer, I feel like it helps with um, clarity uh, when I'm working out or just in general. So, oh, and then let me not forget, make sure you take your electrolytes. If you drink water, like especially a lot of water, like I drink a lot of water when I'm in the gym. So if you don't have electrolytes in your body, what you're doing essentially is just, you know, flushing out your vitamins in your body. And then after you feel like completely exhausted, like you just want to go to a sleep, you know, or... Um, you have a headache sometimes like i used to get like a big big like pulsing headache and i was like well why do i have a headache you know like i drink i drink a lot of water so what's going on and i found out it's because i was lacking electrolytes so before you know but uh i didn't get to eat breakfast so i'm just gonna go straight into lunch um i did have coffee this morning so that's, i mean it's kind of my pre-workout um, it's my substitute for actual pre-workout, but, um, I just got some ground turkey and some rice and I'm going to eat that and then take these and then we are going to hit a nasty bat day. So it should be a good one. back today we're gonna start off with uh, heavy movements uh, just to get my back a little bit thicker each week I'll switch it so some days I'll start with like or some days in the beginning of the week I'll start with lap go down and then next week I'll switch it up and then I'll do uh, rows so um, it's really up to you how you train everybody has uh, you know a certain guideline they want to follow but this is just so we're gonna do a warm up with no weight and then I want to try and get about four sets of rows in uh, maybe five just to build that thickness because I feel like for sure that's what I'm lacking on and we'll pretty much go from there getting into our working sets so I'll probably do um, a 45 a 45 and a 25 uh, and then a 45 and a 35 and then finish off with 225 uh, I'm not really looking for you know how do, I, how do I describe it like I'm not really looking for sloppy reps I'm looking for nice controlled uh, contracted movements. Um, so, I mean, I get it. Like on rows, it's kind of one of those movements where you just kind of want to be a gorilla and just like go stupid on it or whatever. But that's not what it's intended for. Um, it's to 
built with this in your back and it's supposed to be hard and difficult. Um, and if you're just, you know, going gorilla, going crazy on it, you're not going to feel any type of contraction. Yeah, you'll get stronger, but you're not going to feel any activation in your back. Pause and 
Yeah. So, let's get it. All right, so I'm going to do some upright rows. They're for your shoulders, but also they build your traps. So uh, I'm gonna stay at the same weight, do three sets. Um, they are gonna be very heavy. So we'll see how this goes. wasn't that bad, wasn't that bad. I only did eight reps, but um, I, th I think for the next set, I'm gonna do, cause I did narrow and then kind of shoulder width. And then now I'm gonna do um, wide and wider. So it's gonna be interesting. The wide and wider is definitely heavier and harder. Well, it's the same weight, but you know, obviously. I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm like super, super fatigued. I don't know if it's because I'm going ham or because I didn't get good sleep. But either way,
just got finished with my workout. Um, it was a good workout. I definitely feel wide and thick. So that's what we're kind of looking for. Um, I'm trying to think. I, things I'm definitely trying to work on are just my posing. Um, but most importantly, just like getting my calories because that's the hardest part. Literally the hardest thing is just for me to eat. And as you can see, if you watched the last video, the end of the video, um, that's kind of real. Like I just be eating junk, you know? So, um, but the, the past couple of days I've been eating good. I've been eating ground turkey and rice. And I could definitely tell a difference in my physique. Like I'm definitely like leaner, um, I'm more vascular. You can see my veins. Um, things of that sort.